Suns had their worst shooting night of the postseason so far, under 39 percent, and Devin hey, Booker was held to five of 21 from the field. Hey, Book, how much would you think the, the nose affected you tonight? Uh, not at all, honestly. Um, the nose feels fine, so you know, we just we lost the game. Next up is Anthony Slater with the Athletic. Yeah, Devin, uh, what has Patrick Beverly done uh, the the last couple of games defensively um, that that you feel like has been effective? Uh, he's ultra aggressive. Um, you know, he's denying. You know, limiting touches. Um, so you know, he he has one objective out there, and, and we understand that. So, you know, I feel like other things should open up, and you know, we have to look at the film and see what's open and see what we can get. Next is Rachel Nichols with ESPN, followed by Dwayne Rankin. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the spirit's high. You know, we move on to the next one. You know, that's what type of team we are. Um, we've been that way the whole whole season, so you know, we're gonna stick with that. Um, we're gonna come in tomorrow, go over film, regroup, and get ready for Game Four. What were some of the biggest differences from Chris Um. You know, I think he was getting his wind under him, getting back, you know, coming off of a virus, um, you know, and not doing any activity for a few days. But, you know, he, he's ready to go. He's ready to get the practice tomorrow and, you know, ready to get back at it. Next is Dwayne Reagan with the Arizona Republic, followed by Mark Spears. Hey, Devin, how much will that conversation that you and Monty have and look at film will help you going in tomorrow so you can kind of see what you were seeing, but actually see it, you know, in that, in that set? Yeah, I mean, that's the name of the game. You know, you, you go and, you know, you watch film and see what we could have done better. Um, I mean, we've been doing that since we started playing basketball. So, you know, you, you watch film to improve and, you know, to see what you might have missed in something in a high tempo game. So, you know, we're, we're going to regroup. How much, how much did you guys miss Cam tonight? How much did what? Did you miss Cam Payne? Oh, a lot. Um, you know, I, I hope his ankle's doing okay. You know, obviously he's been that spark for us, and you know he he's made a lot happen for us while he's been out there. So, you know, I just hope he's in good health. You um, know, I'll check up on him after we get out of here. This is Mark Spears with ESPN, followed by Kellen Olson. Well, I'm assuming this is the first time you played with a mask. How did you adjust to it? And also, he talked about talking to Rip. Yeah, the, the advice he gave you. Um, it's fine, honestly. You know, I don't I honestly don't really see it or it doesn't affect me. Um, I did talk to Rip about it. You know, I've been preaching for a long time. He's my favorite player of all time. And, you know, I've had short conversations with him in the past. And, you know, I thought this was the perfect time, um, you know, to talk to him some more and, and get some advice. So, you know, he chopped it up with me for a minute, you know, gave me some great feedback, put me in the right mindset to go out there. And, you know, we have to just be better next time. What do you say? Uh, you know, he, he said he stuck with it because, you know, putting on his face, put him in, put him in character. Um, he felt comfortable, you know, getting in the paint, felt he had extra protection, he had an extra layer. Um, so just don't worry about it. Don't take it off when you shoot free throws. Um, and just, you know, don't let it be a distraction to you. Next is Kellen Olsen with the Arizona Sports, followed by Dave McMenamin. Hey, Buck, in terms of getting to your spots tonight, did you like the quality of shots that you were getting for yourself? Uh, I'd have to rewatch it um, and see. Um, I think so. You know, just just sort of thinking back. You know, I know I missed some that you know I usually make or should make, um, but you know it's part of the game. Next up is Dave McMenamin with ESPN, followed by Tressa Tudrick. Uh, we were asking Rachel that uh, she mentioned on the broadcast that the nose was broken, broken in three spots. And yeah. Yeah, to get it set. Um, mm -hmm. Just walk us through when you found out the severity of the injury. Were you able to like sleep? Did you have to sleep a different way than you normally would? And then what was the getting it set process like? That was probably the worst part. Um, you know, it was a procedure that they usually say to put you under for. Um, but we had a flight out um, a couple hours later, so they just numbed it up um, all over the place. It felt like like eight eight shots to numb it up, and then they go in there and. They put it back, <laughs> they, put it, they break it again, they break it back in place. So, you know, it was my first time experiencing that, but they say Cam Johnson went through it, so I knew I could. <laughs> Next up is actually going to be Dan Wojcicki with the LA Times, followed by Gina Mizell. Hey, Devin. Um, 
after game four of the Lakers series in the first round, you'd had kind of two rough shooting games, sort mm -hmm. of like this. And Monty said he told you just go hoop. Um, he also told you go hunt a shot mm -hmm. too, really early in that next game. Um, how do you process mini slumps like this? Um, are, are you receptive to conversations with other people in it, and or are you a guy that's just like leave me alone? I'll, I'll get through this myself. Yeah, um, mix of both, I would say. You know, I always hear people out, especially people I respect of, of mine. Um, but, you know, I, I've been playing this game for a long time. You know, I've went through every type of shooting slump that you can think of. Um, and, you know, the best advice that my dad gave me when I moved with them when I was 13 years old is have a short memory in this game. Um, on to the next play, on to the next game, on to the next possession. Um, so the quick you can have a short memory and just be confident in yourself and the work that you've put in. And, you know, I've pretty much seen every type of situation on the court. So, you know, I, I believe in my work. Um, so next game's going to be better. Next is Gina Mizell with Suns.com and then Greg Moore. Hey, Bob. Uh, the last time you guys lost a game here, um, you had those two days and then went on the streak that you guys were on. Uh, just Is there anything from those two days after game three of the Lakers series as far as how you guys approached um, kind of bouncing back that you feel like can, can help you guys this time around? I mean, we keep our gym the same. You know, that was my first time experiencing that after we won one versus the Lakers and lost two. You know, we're down 2-1 in LA and you come in the gym and it's chill. Everybody's laughing, everybody's having a good time, but focus at the same time. Just with the, you know, there's understanding around the, around the team on what our next objective is and what we have to do. Um, so it's not really talked about that much. You can just feel it in the energy, even when you're laughing, having a good time out there. Like everybody's zeroed in and locked in. Our next two questions are going to be Greg Moore with the Arizona Republic and Brendan Clean. Hey, Devin, Greg Moore, Arizona Republic. Um, <clears throat> you and Chris both had bad shooting nights early and were going to DA early in the first quarter. And I'm wondering what got you guys away from that as the game went on. Uh, I'd have to go back. You know, the, the game happened so fast. So, you know, that's what the film is for. Um, yeah, that's that. Final question is going to be Brendan Clean with Locked On Suns. Hey, Book, uh, it seems like late in these games, they seem to have a, a shot to answer a lot of what you guys are doing. How, how do you go about containing them when they go five out like that and they have all those shooters on the floor? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just guarding your man, um, just so you're not in rotation. Um, they, they play a five out style of basketball when they go with that small ball lineup in. You know, I think they're just trying to drive and kick. So just stay in front of your man um, to keep the team out of rotation. Thank you for the time, Bo. Appreciate it.